Chris, Chris, um, aka the Reaper 84, or the Wild Concert, or however you know me, all those different names. Um, I'm making this video about my experience with demons, and uh, at first, I wasn't going to because there are a lot of Christians that believe that if you're a Christian, you can't be hurt or possessed or anything like that with uh, demons. Um, also, a lot of people don't believe in demons at all, and I just was afraid to just make it because I didn't want to, you know, cause anything, but I was like, you know what, I'm doing it anyways. So, um, yeah, so when I was a teenager, um, I'm 23 now, um, when I was about 15, 16 maybe, I was struggling really, really bad, like, with depression and really bad low self-esteem. I hated myself more than anything at all. I couldn't stand myself. Um, I just, I didn't think there was any reason for me to live. I just didn't want to live. Um, I tried suicide more than once, but obviously I didn't succeed. But, um, anyways, do this hard times. Um, I would, like, listen to the wrong kind of music, and, um, I would do the wrong thing that wasn't really smart of me to do. Um, like, I listened to this one song, and it was basically, like, a witchcraft chant. And what it, it just like chanted over and over again, some weird thing. I can't even remember exactly what it was about. But, um, I would play it over and over again because I thought it was cool. So, um, I think eventually it did something. Um, along with that I would look up stuff online to do with witchcraft and ghost and all that stuff because I was just interested in it for some reason. So, after a while, things started to get really freaky. Um, like, I would shut the light off in my room to go to bed. And in the middle of my room, there would be like a darker shadow. It would be darker than anywhere else around it. And it would be like the shape of a person. But I wouldn't be able to see their eyes or anything else. It's just that shape and at first it really freaked me out and I was like oh geez what's in here but I just shook it off went to sleep and in the middle of the night I would feel like a hard pressure on my chest or on my whole body and then I would hear something whispering in my ear but I, would, I have no idea what it was saying it was like speaking a totally different language and it was a very raspy voice and um, it would, like, I'd hear that and, like, a weird noise in the background. I can't describe it. It's, like, a mechanical type noise, like, like, um, like a whirring noise. Like a, not really a siren, like, is it, like, something circular with spinning really, 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 really fast. So, um, as it was, like, as I felt pressure on me, I would like try to wake up and fight whatever it is and I wouldn't be able to move, I wouldn't be able to speak, I wouldn't be able to mind anything. I would just feel this thing pressuring on me like harder and harder and harder. Then I would feel it squeeze my throat and then I would have the worst time breathing I'd be trying to gasp for air and finally it would just stop and then I would shoot up out of bed and look around and I would see nothing. So. This would happen like every night almost. Every single night. And I would be sitting at my computer desk sometimes. Using my computer or whatever. And then I'll see a shadow on the wall. Like if somebody walked by me. And it would go past on the wall like that. But it wouldn't be like a human shape. <sighs> like it was like a weird shape. Like it, was like, like it had like spikes on it or whatever, it was, it was weird, very weird, and I'll be 
in where my room was where I used to live. I was the only person upstairs. And nobody else would be up there with me when I would be up there because while my brother would be at school or either my brother was somewhere else, my mom was at work or we were visiting for someone. So I was always by myself at home. So then one night I was laying in bed and I heard so, something just scream really loud. And it came from like, it was like on the, the left side of me when I was laying down. It was screaming and screaming and screaming. So I shot up out of bed and I was looking around, but there was nothing in my room. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I went back to sleep. And then one night, I was sleeping in the living room and my mom was in her room and I heard, I don't know what it was, but I heard it sounded like a little kid's voice yelling, like screaming out loud, saying, why, oh mommy, why, why, oh mommy, why, over and over again, screaming it. So I shot out of the bed, I called my mom and I was like, mom, you, I know you have to hear this because it, it is loud. And I remember seeing her face just go pale white, like as if she was like petrified. And she was looking around, and she just, like, wouldn't say anything for a little while. Then after a while, she finally was like, oh, it's just cats. And then she went back to bed. I know it was not cats. Cats do not scream like that. But anyways, so, another time was where I was sitting in my room, and my brother was there with me. And my wife, now she ain't in, but at the time, she was, we were dating my girlfriend. We were sitting in my room and we were watching TV and the light in my room shut off. And Shannon was asleep so she didn't see it. So the light shut off and then it flicked back on. So I woke Shannon up I was like, Shannon, you have to see this. Cause no, nobody had ever believed me except for my brother. So I wanted someone else to see this. So I woke her up I was like, Shannon, the light is shutting off and on by itself. So she sat there for a while and nothing happened, of course. So she was like, yeah. Okay, then the light shut off on her, and then it shut, turned back on. So it scared her to death. So that would happen every now and then in my room.